Hello, my name is Janika. I am an expat from Finland and welcome to this vlog. This weekend we have some friends visiting us from Finland. Yeah, we have lots of fun things planned for this weekend. So I'll be bringing you guys along. And I'm really happy at the moment because they were promising it to rain all day long today. I checked the weather forecast just before I went to bed yesterday and it was promising only rain. And now the sun is shining and it's a blue sky. So. You can never really trust the forecast here in the Netherlands because when it says it might rain, some might shine, but sometimes when it says it's gonna be sunny, it might rain. So always be prepared for anything. my friend Sophia visiting me. Hello. And we're currently out taking some photos for Sophia and Eric. Mm -hmm. Eric is my uh, husband. He's right over there. Behind over there. <laughs> but yeah, so let's hope we can get some nice pictures. Thank you. Do you like it? Yeah? It's a real Dutch snack. Yeah, you like it? Having a little strobe waffle break. <laughs> Do you like it? I like it. It's nice. I just bought myself some tulips here from the market. All these, there is, I think, five bouquets of tulips here. And guess how much it was? Seven euros for five bouquets of tulips. In Finland, it would never ever be this cheap. Aren't these pretty? Currently we're out on a little walk and showing around Leiden. I have managed to get a friend. Oh, where did it go? Is it still on me? Yes. Yeah. Cute. If you put it up, it should fly away. That's the thing, right? They always try and climb up so that they can fly. Wee. <laughs> We have been walking around Leiden and now we came to a local restaurant that everyone has to try or yeah, a snack bar. Okay, so this is the simplest of simplest food. How do you like it? It's good. It tastes like uh, meatballs. Meatballs? <laughs> okay. Do you like the casa place, Sophia? Yeah, it's actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like it.
have been just relaxing at home for a few hours and next we're going out for some dinner and we're going to one of my favorite restaurants here which is a ramen restaurant if you saw my previous monthly vlog you will recognize the place <laughs> Whoa, it's really raining now. It is now the next day and we are on our way to Rotterdam. We have come to see some beautiful Rotterdam art. <laughs> it's a Santa Claus holding um, onto, yeah, I'm not gonna say what, but you can figure it out yourself, maybe. <laughs> We decided to discover the city mainly by foot and walked around some beautiful areas in Rotterdam. After walking around for quite some time, we were starting to get pretty hungry. So we decided to go and eat to the food hall, as it is a place that has something for everyone. feel really weird mm. yeah uh, I got a taro coconut drink and they didn't have tapioca pearls they had something called brown sugar pearls and they said it's basically the same thing but it's not the same thing at all <laughs> a bit crazy so yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's fireworks over there in the middle of the day I don't know if you can see it but 
I am currently on my way to a place called Amsterdamse Bos, which is this big park that is located in Amstelveen. But I must say, getting to this park feels like a huge project. So far I have taken two buses and two trains, and now I'm waiting for the last and third bus to take me there. But yeah, it better be worth it. The reason why I'm going to visit today is because Amsterdamse Bos is currently supposed to be full of blooming cherry trees. So I'm hoping it will be really beautiful. I should soon be there. I got off the last bus and now I'm walking in the direction everyone else is walking. It's not that crowded, at least not yet. Let's hope it will be really beautiful. I think it will be, to be honest. I have arrived and it is so beautiful and it's not crowded at all. I do think if I would have come here on Saturday or Sunday, it will be absolutely packed. I'm happy I came here. Originally I was planning on having like a proper picnic here and I'm a bit regretting it that I didn't do it now But because I saw that it's gonna be it's quite a chilly day and cloudy and honestly I was feeling a bit tired in the morning So I didn't prepare for a picnic. There are definitely some frustrated Instagram boyfriends <laughs> Who have been dragged to this park and have to take a million pictures for their girlfriends. <laughs> I have already witnessed a few arguments <laughs> Oh man. Today it is the last day of the month and yeah, our original plan today was actually to go to Alkmaar and the cheese market there but the weather today is not the kind you would want to have when spending your whole day at a market. It is raining and quite a lot so we've had a change of plans and now we're going to Ikea instead. Uh, we're gonna have some Ikea Swedish meatballs and some other good Ikea foods to buy home. In Ikea they sell a lot of like Scandinavian and like well Swedish food but a lot of it is very similar to Finnish food so I'm excited to buy some of that to bring home and also we have some small things we want to buy for our apartment and that kind of stuff so I think it's the perfect rainy day activity and I haven't been to an Ikea since 2020 I think. not planning on buying anything really big but it's always fun to just walk around Ikea and be like oh, I like that I don't like that and plan what we want in our future homes and that kind of stuff you get a lot of ideas and inspiration from here we've now come to my favorite section in Ikea and that's where they sell all the Swedish food, but they also seem to have like Fatser and some Finnish products here as well, so I'm excited. We are now back home from our little IKEA trip and we definitely made the right choice. It's a very rainy day and it doesn't seem to be ending anytime soon. But yeah, I'll 
thought I could show you guys a bit what we bought. We didn't buy very much. It's a very food heavy shopping because honestly, we're not planning on staying in this apartment for super duper long anymore. So it feels a bit silly buying a lot of stuff, but I'll show you guys quickly. Uh, we bought a new spatula because we have the same one at home, but it has broken after a few years of using. We bought a new one to replace the old one. And then we bought some Tupperware boxes. And then we bought these like hangers. And then I bought this uh, like gray soft thing. And yeah, then onto the foods. We bought some Giflar Kanelbullen. So yeah, these tiny cinnamon rolls basically. These are really, really good. We have these in Finland too. And then I bought some lingonberry jam. And then I bought some of the ready cream sauce that they have there in Ikea, because it's really good. And yeah, I often like doing the brown sauce myself from scratch as well. But for days when I'm feeling a bit lazy, this is perfect. My boyfriend bought these green pastries. These are like these almond pastries that have a bit of a coffee flavor in them. He's never had them before, but my mom loves these and I'm hoping he will as well. I have a feeling he will. And then for myself, I bought these chocolate coconut balls instead. And then I bought these like veggie meatballs. Um, yeah, the Ikea ones are really good, especially these veggie ones and of course the regular meat ones as well. I had to buy some of these, so now I have the jam and the sauce and these. I just need to buy some potatoes and I can make the perfect Ikea meatball portion at home. I also bought a bag of chips and these are sour cream and onion. I haven't really seen sour cream and onion flavored chips here in the Netherlands except the Pringles ones. We're planning on having a bit of a movie night tonight. So then I thought these chips would be perfect for that. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this vlog here. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a comment and remember to like this video. And if you want to join on more future adventures, then please remember to also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys again on my next adventure. Bye bye.